Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, since the Mario movie is almost out, I wanted to actually talk about Donkey Kong's brand new design and how it compares to the original Donkey Kong designs and with the more modern designs. But more specifically, the arcade artwork from the original arcade with Jumpman, aka Mario, and Pauline, which I did digitally. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, hit the like button, ring the bell, and leave a comment. Let's get to it. So any of you who's been familiar with the Donkey Kong series, that he's gone through many redesigns. But one of his main ones that stuck around was the one from Donkey Kong Country and all the way up through Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. But the main design that they went with was the Super Nintendo era and it carried even on to the Super Smash Bros. series from the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and all the way to the Nintendo Switch and even Donkey Kong 64 with his first ever 3D model. But I wanted to compare it back to way back in 1983 when the arcade game was released and then eventually ported to the family computer, the Famicom in Japan, and then eventually the NES here in North America. But I just wanted to go ahead and kind of give tribute to how it all started by actually changing Jumpman, which was then called Mario. But instead of Mario, I added Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of Super Mario. And I made this in Adobe Illustrator and then eventually cleaned it up in Photoshop. And this one, I really like the, the old school 80s style cartoons. And this was actually on the side of the arcade, the original arcade. And this artwork has Donkey Kong carrying Pauline on one hand and Mario to the left while avoiding barrels and fireballs. And by comparison, here's Super Mario and Pauline in modern times. A huge difference. I really like Donkey Kong's goofy look, his big nostrils, and his very old school 80s style cartoon gorilla look. But what I did was just clean everything up and kind of just brighten up the colors and I actually added this pixelated background on top of the girders from the arcade. And originally she was called Lady but then she turned into Pauline. So what I did was create some vector lines and made a heavy outline on the characters and eventually I went into Photoshop because I wanted to go into it and clean it up very very well. But it's just really cool to see how Donkey Kong has evolved in character design. And I really like the modern look. However, they actually finally changed it after many many years. They did keep it close to what we know already but this is a brand new redesign from the Super Mario movie. So what I noticed what they did is that they softened up his color and they actually made him a little bit more, even more goofier than before. But yet he's still a big, huge gorilla. He looks like he's still powerful. They just kind of expressed him a lot more in his facial features. But yeah, what did you guys think of his redesign? Did you like it? And what do you think how it compares to the original, which I think that's where they took inspiration from and just did a combination of all his designs that they've ever done. 
So yeah, go ahead and enjoy the rest of this time-lapse video and can't wait to see the movie and the rumored 3D Donkey Kong game that's supposed to be out for Nintendo Switch or Nintendo's next system. Comment down below and let me know what you think if you're waiting for a brand new Donkey Kong game. I'm excited. Thank you so much and see you later. Bye.